Good day everyone! Today we are going to tackle our last two lessons under unit 3. The last unit we have this midterm. Okay, so first we will talk about Muna, the principle of art. Then the rule of thirds will be the next, okay? And so the first lesson that we had here in this uh, unit is the elements of art. So those seven elements were comprehensive comprehensively discussed naman ano, by the assigned groups, diba? So, everyone can access the recorded lectures of each group sa ating Facebook um, group, ano? So, doon, pwede, uh, pwede ninyong balik-balikan yung mga lessons natin, okay? Yan, so, uh, now, as soon as we finish tackling the lessons under this unit, uh, all of you are expected to perform the following. Okay, so first, uh, you have to identify the elements of arts, the principles of design, and the rule of thirds. Second, you have to analyze the various elements present in visual, auditory, and combined arts. For the third one, you have to create an artwork depicting depicting the various elements and principles of design and as well as applying the rule of thirds and for the last you have to exhibit your artworks and your interviewed local artists and artisans okay and so elements of art versus principles of art so let us uh, first define the element of art Okay, so well, those uh, seven elements of art which we have reported, so ano nga yung mga yun? Line, shape, form, space, text texture, value, and color. So silang, pit silang pito yung uh, basic components of art, uh, of art making. So meaning, it is impossible to create a work of art. Uh, without using at least one of those seven elements. Kaya we can say talaga na... Uh, a quality art starts with its elements, okay? But now, we also have ito nga, yung principles of art. So, ano yun, ma'am? Paras lang po ba yun? Yung elements of art at saka principles of art? Okay, so let's uh, differentiate naman the two. I know that it's uh, easy to get confused when discussing the elements and principles of art. Kaya, uh, as I prepared this lesson, nag-isip ako ng uh, isang concept wherein the concept of applying the elements and principles could be compared. And um, I thought of cooking. Kaya in this lecture, I will try to explain to you um, how the elements and principles of art uh, work through the concept and the illustration of cooking. Okay? So I said, these two, the elements and principles, uh, they are much easier to understand when we compare them to cooking. Kaya ang tanong natin ngayon is how to cook, um, or yeah, how to cook up great. Paano tayo makakapaggawa or makakapagluto ng isang masarap at presentable na dish. Same goes with paano tayo makakapag-create ng isang artwork na presentable. Okay, so let's see. When cooking, we have a list of ingredients that are organized by a recipe, diba? Yan. Well, put this in mind, ha? The elements of art is like the ingredients. If you are a good cook, then you care about the quality ingredients. The same is true if you are a good artist. You care about the quality of elements that you choose to put in your artwork. Therefore, the lines, shapes, the forms, values, colors, textures, and spaces that are um, incorporated must all work to make your artwork great. Yun yung sinasabing the elements must be used as quality ingredients in your artwork. Kaya pag gagawa ka ng isang artwork, you must spend some time exploring and understanding them. Of course, you also have to learn how to use um, them together effectively. The same is true in cooking. Diba hindi naman pwedeng magbawas at hindi at hindi rin tayo pwedeng hindi mag-include ng ingredients lalo na kapag mahalagang ingredients yun. Kapag binaliwala natin yung mga ingredients or yung mga elements na yun then we shouldn't um, expect now we will create a great dish or a great art artwork. Kaya um, there 
in reality, we must follow the recipe instead. And speaking of recipe, kung ang elements ay ang ingredients, the recipe is the principle of art naman. Why? Because um, the principles of art are an organized way that the elements are arranged in an artwork. So, yung mga elements kasi, maaari silang makombine sa isang composition ng maayos to produce a presentable artwork. Hindi naman kasi pwedeng um, ilagay na lang natin basta-basta yung ingredients, di ba? Doon sa niluluto natin without any thoughts. May measurement. Meron ding proper time kung kailan uh, dapat ilagay or i-apply yung ingredients na yun. Same goes sa pag-apply ng elements sa isang artwork. So, there should be a thought muna, an organized thought, which is yun nga yung principles. Okay? So, base sa mga sinasabi ko nito, the principles of art are uh, dependent on the elements. So, ibig sabihin, no elements, no recipe. Are, again, no elements, no principles, no ingredients, no recipe. Okay, so I hope it's clear on your end. No. So again, the principles deal with how the elements of art are arranged in an artwork. Meaning, the principles of art deal heavily with the composition. Kaya we really must um, explore the principles as well, hindi lang yung... Um, elements of art because um, creating a good artwork is not just uh, a skill mas lalong hindi siya uh, luck or trial and error no? it is knowledge okay so now let's start discussing uh, each of the principles to help us understand how the elements of art work together in a composition okay and so first we have balance. So as we, uh, as everyone knows, balance refers to many things. Okay. So as tao, di ba, we learn to balance our bodies when biking, when riding a motorcycle. Balancing is required. It is also required then, naman, even on how we um, organize our time, di ba? And of course, we all have our own inherent sense of visual balance as well. Kung paano tayo nag uh, landscape ng ating lawns, kung paano natin i uh, inaarrange yung mga furniture natin sa bahay, ano, or kung paano natin uh, na nakompose yung ating artwork na ginagawa. So they all reveal our feelings about visual balance. Well, all people naman siguro have um, similar feelings about uh, what makes an artwork balanced or imbalanced with um, small personal variations, of course. So, back to this. Balance is one of the principles of art and design. I guess you will all agree naman that a well-balanced composition feels comfortable to look at, ba? So, uh, balance here refers to the overall distribution of visual weight in a composition. Okay, so visual weight in in a composition. Ano po yun, ma'am? So, Alright, so uh, each visual component of art, of an artwork has visual weight. Iba siya doon sa actual weight, ha? So visual weight is uh, not measured using a scale, but uh, must be observed instead. Okay, so ayan. And under this principle, there are three types of balance. Symmetric, asymmetric, and radial. So, let's take a closer look at, the th at those three uh, types of balance and then uh, let's consider how to manage the feeling of uh, balance in art. Okay? Ayan. First, we have symmetrical balance. So, symmetrical balance is a type of formal balance in which two halves of an artwork mirror each other. So, as you can see here in the picture at the left side, as you will observe further then, it is well balanced horizontally and vertically, diba Mirrored siya. So, this type of uh, balance is familiar and common. It imposes a strong sense of order and stability on both the composition and the subject. 
Okay? Next, we have a symmetric balance. So, kabalik taran siya ng symmetrical balance. It is informal and it seems less organized than the symmetry. Okay? So, uh, observe the image here beside me. The two halves of, of um, this um, asymmetric balanced artwork did not uh, look the same, di ba? But, uh, still have similar visual weights naman. So, this kind of balanced uh, uh, artwork allows for more variety in a, in a composition than the first one, the symmetrically balanced design. Why? Because it provides the same um, comfortable feeling as, symmet as symmetry without using like um, elements on each side of a central axis. In fact, uh, many uh, many artists appreciate asymmetric balance more because it feels less rigid and uh, more realistic than symmetric um, balance. Because um, although symmetry, uh, symmetrical balance makes clear the artist's desire to uh, present a visually balanced image, uh, uh, the asymmetric balance does not happen by accident but instead it requires significant planning and intention pa rin naman of course yeah lastly we also have radial balance so technically um this is um uh this is uh symmetry in several directions ang tanging feature na lang uh, uh, the visual elements are arranged around a central point in the composition. So, katulad na lang ng, uh, ito, nakikita nyo dito sa given example. So, there is a central point at connected lahat doon sa central point na yun, lahat ng visual elements. Na? So, this kind of balanced uh, designs are often circular, but um, other shapes lend themselves to radial balance naman as well, like squares, hexagons, octagons, stars, and uh, etc. Okay? So, from these three kinds of balanced designs, um, symmet symmetric and radially balanced artworks use formal balance. While asymmetric balance naman is quite different and is also referred to as informal balance. Okay? Okay, so second we have proportion. Alright, so uh, proportion is the principle of art that refers to relative size. So it is largely about the relationship of the size of one element when compared to another. So him the uh the onsa over sa overall size, ano? but rather the onsa relationship ng mga sizes ng two or more subjects or elements. Kaya when drawing or painting realistically, proportion is important. If the proportion are incorrect, then the resulting image will look less realistic or abstracted. However, there is an exception naman. Artists can uh, also use proportion for uh, effect alternatively. Na? So, by manipulating proportion, the artist can make uh, his or her subject seem strong, weak, funny, mysterious, or whatsoever. So, pwede natin exage yung proportion to emphasize a, a meaning or an element within the scene. Just like the image here that uh, shows a painting of canvas by Mr. Jeff Jordan. And, uh, so, he uses proportion to create a comical attitude. Okay? So, another example ay yung um, caricature. Like, yung mga caricature artists. And, uh, they could also distort, uh, distort uh, proportion in order to create a stylized image of the subject, diba? Alright, for the third one, okay, so in the field of art, uh, rhythm is most closely associated with music and dance, right? So, musical rhythm involves a bit that is repeated over time, but in a uh, visual rhythm, it is created by repeating shapes or patterns, and lines, colors, or any um, other visual component. So, actually, this uh, visual rhythm is everywhere. Kahit sa bahay nyo, meron yan. Like, uh, the rows and columns of windows, ano? So, they add rhythm 
to to the architecture of your house of your house and and even uh yeah books on the shelf and uh, so and even the tiled the tiled floors so they also add uh rhythm to our daily life na so at kung napapansin no uh doon sa aking mga given examples ano they have something that is repeated and that uh repeating element is generally referred to as a motif na motif so and in this principle an artwork must have a motif to create movement through rhythm through rhythm okay so basically um there are two kinds of rhythm irregular and regular rhythm so first if a motif is variable in size and spacing so the rhythm is um said to be irregular and personally speaking an uh, an irregular rhythm feels natural so like uh, the given example here no? so like the trees growing in the forest so they have an irregular rhythm each tree is unique some are thin and some are wide but all are trees diba? Yeah. on the other hand man, if the motif is identical in size and spacing it is said to be regular at kung ang irregular rhythm ay natural at feels ang regular rhythm naman ay merong feels na organized and um, intentional so an example nito yan here lampposts along a uh, city street so they have a regular rhythm each one uh, is the same as the next okay and so from this a motif um, acts as a guide through the composition our eyes move from one example of the motif to the next okay at mapapansin din natin na yung amount of space between uh, manifestations of the motif set the tempo or speed at which our eyes move around the composition okay so is it clear i hope it is okay right so i know that you will all agree na in a painting or a drawing there is a story diba and all good stories have a main character and uh, and in visual art there can uh, um have a a main character too but the main character here does not have to be a person so an object or an area within the composition can serve as the main character in an artwork so sa isang story the main character is not hard to identify diba sa uh, like for example sa libro the main character usually has the most dialogue no well in movie kung sino yung madalas na ina-expose or, or kung sino yung mas maraming um, screen time sila yung main character no however there is no dialogue in a painting and every pic- every pictorial element gets the same amount of screen time or rather canvas time no so how do artists designate the main character in um in a painting how do audience get to look where the artists want them to look now so the an- the answer to those questions is the emphasis no? so the fourth principle that we have so this principle um uh, it helps the audience to put the story of a uh, painting together in their own minds so just like the picture attached in this uh, slide now we got to compose a story agad by seeing the emphasized objects in uh, in the pictures okay so this object of uh, this um, this again so this object or an area of emphasis is called a focal point so and yon so the focal point is meant to be the part of an artwork to which the viewer's eye are first attract attracted so katulad na lang ng picture of tomatoes here no so ang nakakuha agad ng attention natin ay yung green tomato kasi yun yung emphasized by means of the color used ano so the same goes dito sa tatlong pictures na nasa baba so in the first picture except except sa uh, emphasized 
yung isang coin dahil sa color niya, it is emphasized then because of isolation. ba? Diba? So, sa second picture naman, how, the, has, how does it show uh, emphasis? Okay, so the buildings uh, converge at the small figure in the road. And additionally, the figure or the human is located near the center of the composition to help the audience find him. Okay, so for the third picture naman, see how the person with the head of a fly just pops out and demands your attention. It is emphasized through yung unusuality, yung pagiging unusual na. Okay, so because of uh, emphasis, you will begin to control how your story unfolds and uh, control how your viewers interact with your art or with your artwork. Okay, all right, so we are to explore here the last three principles of art, and also these three principles are best understood na magkasunod-sunod. So, the first two are harmony and unity. And the third is called variety. Okay, so, dito man tayo sa fifth. So, the harmony. So, harmony in art creates uh, cohesiveness by stressing the similarities of separate but related parts. Okay, so you should note here that harmony is not the same as unity. Okay? However, um, harmony does enhance unity in a work of art. Ginagamit na yung elements of art as a vehicle to create a sense of togetherness among the separate parts. For example, um, a set of colors that relate according to a specific scheme creates harmony. Likewise, a uh, uniform texture of brush, uh, yung brush strokes you know, across the surface of a canvas, it also creates harmony. And another way to guarantee harmony is to um, choose compositional components that are similar in shape and uh, uh, natin contour. No? So, for example, a uh, composition that um, utili utilizes uh, only curvy shapes will have harmony than a similar composition that includes uh, both curvy and geometric shapes. No? Like um, here, look at the given picture here. So the parts of the image are in, har in harmony because every contour is a curve. So wala ka makita dyan na geometric shapes. Okay? And also pala, even a narrowed um, range of value can contribute to harmony in a uh, in an artwork. Okay. Next, unity. Okay, so this uh, principle of art gives an artwork a feeling of oneness. Okay, so baka sabihin niyo, ma'am, unity and harmony are similar po, di ba? Yes, they are... Uh, quite similar, but unity is more broad. Okay, yun yung dapat yung tandaan. There are numerous um, ways kasi to um, create unity in art. Some of those ways are particular to the style ng bawat um, artist. Ano? Okay, so here, unity is uh, about separate parts working together. Okay, so para madali natin maintindihan, um, uh, ayan. Unity. By thinking uh, about a car. Okay. So, diba? Uh, a car's purpose is to provide transportation. Diba? So, when the many parts of a car are working together, it moves. Diba? It provides transportation. So, no part of the car separated from the whole is capable of providing transportation. So, mag... Uh, um, ma masasatisfy na lang or magagawa niya lang yung purpose niya kapag lahat ng parts ng car is um, working together. Now, so, meaning, when the car uh, functions as it should, the parts are working together in unity. Ano? So, like harmony, unity is not easy to understand at first. Different form um Different from the um, elements of art, unity is an impression. 
So it a it a feeling, um, uh, a feeling the artwork conveys to the viewer. Yan. And finally, variety. Okay, so for many people, uh, performing the same task or following the same routine over and over again leads to boredom. Do you agree with that? That is why vacations or breaks are such a pleasure. Ano para sa um, karamihan? We see it as an interruption of uh, our lives routines. May mga taong... Um, active when on vacation while others naman, they do nothing at all. But one thing is uh, right for sure. No? So, vacations look different than the routines they interrupt. Kasi nga, we have this feeling na vacations are a measured dose of uh, variety in a person's life. And art needs variety also, of course. Diba? And variety here uh, is one of the principles of art. So, it adds interest to an artwork. Sabi nga ng um, mga, uh, mga professionals ano, sa field ng art, uh, variety is the spice of art's life daw. No, so, variety works through comparison and contrast. When an artist places different visual elements next to one another, the artist is using variety, like um, straight lines and uh, next to curvy lines. So it adds variety, like organic shapes among geometric shapes. It uh, it adds also variety. What else? Um, bright colors next to dull colors. Na so nagbibigay uh, siya ng variety. So ayan. So this completes the. Uh, seven principles of art. So, just to summarize, uh, so the principle of art um, work together to organize art elements for a cohesive and unified composition. So, nagsiset itong mga princi principles of art ng standard in creating art. And once uh, an individual becomes familiar with creating compositions, it is easier to choose uh, for him or her which principles work best to communicate his or her message uh, doon, pamula doon sa kanyang artwork na uh, ginawa. Ano? Ayan, so, I hope this um, discussed seven principles of design are all clear to you guys. Ayan. Let's move on naman doon sa um, sa ating last topic, which is the rule of thirds. Okay. So, ayan. Para sa mga artists, composition is um, one of the most important factors in the success of, or failure of their art. Kasi you may create naman talaga work that is um, executed at the highest level of technical skill. But, if your composition is weak, then your art is weak too. That's why in this lesson, we will explore a compositional theory that will help you make uh, better decisions regarding your composition. Now, so, this compositional theory is called the rule of thirds. So, ma'am, what is the rule of thirds? Alright, um, whatever form of art that you work on, there are always techniques and guidelines that uh, we can use to improve our art and design. Now, so the rule of thirds for one is actually a guideline than a rule. Ang main objective nito is um, um, para matulungan or to aid the artist with regard to placing the elements and focal point within uh, the artist's art. Uh, composition. So, nagsimula itong um, rule of thirds na ito doon sa paniniwala ng maraming artists na if they divide their art composition into thirds, either um, vertically man or horizontally, and then uh, places the elements of the subject along these lines or at the junctions of them, they can arrive at a more attractive arrangement daw and more fascinating artwork. So for you to uh, comprehensively understand, uh, look at the, fi the figure here. No? So this gives us a guide 
for placing focal points of our um, art composition. So you'll notice here that the horizontal and vertical lines intersect. And so these locations of intersection are excellent places to position important elements within your composition. Ito yung um, explanation or yung brief explanation ng um, uh, na theory na yun, ng rules of um, thirds. Okay, so for example, you may place the focal points or the emphasis here on one of these intersecting points and so, dito sa mga block dots na ito in order to create a more um, successful uh, composition. Yan. And in applying the rule of thirds in visual arts, you should be able to go by the following uh, guidelines here. So first, the image should be imagined as divided into nine equal parts by two equally shaped spaced horizontal lines and two equally spaced vertical lines. So, as you can see nga sa divides ano, na visible dito sa slide na ito, meron tayong nine equal parts. Okay? So, for the second one, important compositional elements should be placed along these lines or their intersections. Okay? So, yung mga important elements na makikita sa visual art mo or sa visual composition mo, it is best to be placed dito sa mga red lines and even doon sa mismo sa uh, mga intersect intersections which is the black dots here. No? So, ma bakit kailangan doon pa namin i-place? Because, as said here, and as this rule signifies, aligning a subject with these points creates more tension, energy, and interest in the composition than simply centering the subject. Alright, so I hope this uh, clear, clears your mind and, uh, about the purpose and stand of the rule of thirds. Ayan, take a look at the painting in this slide. So the main faces sit on the key intersections and of the rule of thirds uh, guidelines. So this painting by Valentin de Boulun. Uh, so this shows how the main characters are all placed on the upper dividing line. And, uh, so it creates a dynamic arrangement of uh, the figures. So this painting, masasabi natin, is a great example of an artwork that signifies the application or the proper application of the rule of thirds. Okay, so let's further examine one more uh, practical example and so we can imagine that here, uh, no, we can imagine that this example is a potential reference we may use for a drawing or a painting. So, tingnan natin if we can uh, improve the composition using the rule of thirds. Now, so, in this example, uh, we will take a look at a uh, landscape. Okay? So, the composition of uh, this unedited uh, photo in this slide is quite strong without any adjustments. And so, the lighthouse here, which is clearly the focal point, is positioned close to the center of the picture. No. So, uh, here the pathway naman, it leads our eyes to this uh, location, the focal point, which is the ano nga, lighthouse. So, let's try to improve it using the rule of thirds. Now, we will crop the image and place a grid over the top. Okay. Okay, here. So, as you can see, we have now placed the lighthouse along the right vertical line. So, the base of the lighthouse is now positioned on one of the uh, intersection points and the horizontal line is uh, in alignment with the um, lower horizontal line. But, there is a clear problem with this composition. Ano? Napapansin nyo ba yan? So, it feels very um, heavy at the bottom, dito sa bottom part. By uh, moving the line where the land meets the water down, the sky is emphasized. And in this image, the sky is um, rather bland and um, lacking visual interest. So, this is why this composition feels very... Uh, visually heavy at the bottom of the picture uh, plane. So, this um, composition would work if there was more uh, visual interest sana ano, dito sa sky part. But this image is lacking this. So, let's try uh, improving it again.
And again, uh, we crop the image using the rule of thirds, but this time we uh, considered the visual weight of both the sky uh, and the ground. Na. So to balance the visual weight of these elements, we included more of the ground and less of the sky. Na. So, so when we lay a grid over this um, composition, we can see that the lighthouse is in alignment na ano doon sa uh, right vertical line and it meets the ground at one of the uh, intersection points. So we also see that the horizon line is alignment um, with the is uh, in alignment with the top horizontal line. Okay? And so the mound of rocks in the foreground here also plays an important role in, in this composition. We can see that the rocks are now in alignment with uh, another intersection point. So as an added bonus, we have included also the path, and also which uh, acts as a guiding line leading us to the focal point, which is the lighthouse. So, as a result, our second attempt at using the rule of thirds to improve our composition has somehow succeeded. Ano? Na, nakikita nyo ba yun? So, we can learn from this um, example two things. Ano? So, first, the rule of thirds can improve your composition. And second, we must consider other um, compositional aspects in order for it to work. Okay? So, with this discussion, the rule of thirds is an excellent way to improve uh, our um, art compositions. But keep in mind then, Anana, we still need to consider other compositional strategies in order to create a successful composition. We should be uh, very careful that we don't become too resilient. And on just one or two strategies when it comes to designing our artworks. Okay, so, ayan. That ends my lecture for this uh, last two topics. So, if you have questions and something to clarify, you may raise your query in our group chat. Okay, so, ayan. Before we end, let me discuss naman to you the activity that you are to perform. So, it is entitled Modern Work of Photography with a the theme Transforming Brief Moments into Images. Alright, so from this, you will take bits and pieces from what surrounds you. No? So, you have to come up with anything that gets you to uh, take creative images and break through um, walls. Okay, so what you will do is you will photograph the seven discussed elements of art while you are in one location no so and it is seven um, elements of art line shape form space texture uh, value and color okay so again one location only kung ang napili mong location ay street then doon ka lang sa street kung park doon ka lang sa park you are free to um choose your location basta isang location lamang. Ano? So, is it clear? Ayan. So, um, this activity, this photography activity, um, allows you to be taken out of your uh, comfort zone or to introduce you to something different that, uh, than what you usually do. And also, the goal of this activity is for you to expand your creative mind and um, getting bogged down in your camera's menu is not uh, likely the best path to this goal so meaning hindi required na maging knowledgeable ka or technically uh, proficient ka in sa editing skills or sa photography skills or whatsoever no just keep your focus on your creativity and less on the basic practical details of a particular image kasi hindi nyo naman siya talaga um, um, uh, the, the field hindi nyo siya major na? so I hope it is clear na sa, sa inyo and I hope that this uh, creative exercise will be challenging and self-inspiring for you and of course i hope that it uh, uh that this activity would be fun and never ever feel like a requirement and not just enjoy this activity okay 
And nga pala, note that your uh, photographs will be exhibited in a three-year FB group. Ano, kaya it should be presentable talaga. Okay? Ayan. So, here, andito rin yung ating yung rubrics na gagamitin in order for you uh, to be guided ano, kung paano ko gagradean or uh, yeah, gagradean yung inyong uh, photographs. Okay? So, again, uh, may you enjoy this activity of yours and yeah, if you have further questions, you may message me na lang. Ano? So, Ayan. Thank you so much. Goodbye.